everyone, it's Misty, and on today's episode, I'm joined by a good friend of mine, and we're making a beautiful quilt that she designed. Be sure to watch along. All right, I'm so excited for all of you to meet Allie. This is Allie Perry. You want to tell everyone a little bit about yourself? Sure. Um, I'm from Utah. I have cute little family and I design patterns for Taryn Studios. That's awesome. And she has agreed to come on and share this beautiful quilt that you see that comes in two sizes. There's the baby quilt here behind us. And then the, do you call this throw size? Uh -huh. Yeah, throw size oh, over here throw. Yep. on the design wall. And they're just absolutely beautiful and so quick and easy. And so thank you so much for Thanks coming for on. Thanks for having and, me. Yeah. So I will let you just dive right into it. Okay. We want to start by telling everybody what they need to make yes. this. Yep. So this um, pattern you can do with fat quarters um, if you like, or you can also do yardage. Um, today I'll show you how to use a fat quarter bundle. Um, this is such a cute one. It's beautiful. Um, that we have. And I wanted to show you kind of how to use the fat quarters because um, there are special instructions for the fat quarters in this pattern. Yeah, I love how you've done the diagrams for them. It's super, super handy. She's written a really fabulous pattern. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so we'll just dive right in. Yeah, let's rip it open. It's the best part. It's like Christmas. Yep, exactly. <laughs> Maybe, especially when you can't open it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so with the Macintosh quilt, there are lots of different ways that you can um, rearrange the colors and kind of play with them. Um, for this one, so you only need 10 fat quarters. So we'll take out a couple um, for this one. This has 12 super cute fabrics it's in so it. It's so cute. Um, so what I like to do when I'm deciding, you know, which, which way to go with this is I like to do a gradient of colors or, you know, like light and dark. Sure. Um, and for this one, I decided to go grade eight through all the colors. Okay. So with that, you can just kind of lay them out and, um, arrange them however you want. Yeah. Um, for this one, I... I love the textures on this. I mean, this I is know. this kind of linen. It's just so beautiful. It is so pretty. So for this one, I wanted to go, you know, through all the colors and end with the neutrals on the end. Okay. Um, and kind of go that way. So this is how this is how I laid this one out. You can always, you know, play around with it more if you want different fabrics to come together in the middle or on sure. the outside. This is such a beautiful pack. It's uh, Paint Box Neutrals by Robert Kaufman. So there's that. Um, awesome. From here, you can open up the fat quarter. Um, you may need to iron it. Right. Just iron out the crinkles. Um, once you open it up, you will cut um, your strips out. This is a, a strip-based quilt. Okay. Um, which... I love doing that. It makes things just quick and simple. Yeah, totally. And in the pattern, it tells you, um, so there's a diagram here um, that shows which color goes where. So okay. you'll need to reference, you know, colors one through 10. Okay. Um, so for this one, we will be cutting, you know, these will be the same and then these will be the same. Oh, you're there. kind of working outside in. Mm -hmm. and, okay, that makes sense. Yep, so, and the pattern tells you all the strips that you need. And okay. Everything. Awesome. So we'll go ahead and cut some strips. And are these four inches wide? These are three and a half three inches and wide. Three and a half. Okay. Yep. And they're the same as the background. Everything is all the same okay. width, so it makes it Based really on easy. three and a half inches. Mm hmm. Yep. So right. I'll just go through and cut. One, two, three. And I am one that has to count. Multiple oh, times. Me too. Yeah, it's better to be safe and, and double check. So. Yes. Okay, so we'll just start with these. Okay. Um, and then I'll have you sew these together. But for this, um, what we'll want to do is it's a little different where they're not in, you know, full with the fabric strips. Right. Um, but we have your background. And for your background, you'll need three and a half yards okay. of fabric. Um. So you'll take your width of fabric strip, with you, which you already pre-cut. Sure. To and that then, same three and a half, right? Mm -hmm, yeah. Okay. Same three and a half. And then you'll just take your main color. Okay. And then put them right sides together. I like to make sure to line up the selvages. Okay. And then just sew. And when you get to the bottom, then we'll just add the other oh, nice. piece to it. Just some long chain piecing here. Yes. Works great. All 
right. Perfect. And then we'll just stick this one on there. Um, give it as, you know, get it as close as you can, but you don't have to line it Yeah, exactly so I can up. lift the presser foot and slide that a little closer. Mm -hmm. There we go. Just pause and make sure it's all staying together. <laughs> Go. It's okay if it doesn't line up at the end. It's yeah, we'll trim it, right? Yeah, yes, yeah, exactly. So then from there, um, and you'll do that, you know, with every color. Okay. And however many strips it tells you in the pattern. Okay. And then from there, um, it'll tell you the exact things to cut, and I'll show you some oh. examples of that. So okay, we great. will go from here. Um, and then I like to start just on one side and trim them down. So these, um, you'll cut the same three and a half inches. Um, oh, yeah. Cut strips that way. Oh, like, I see what you're saying. You're yep. measuring over three yes, and a half. Yes, three and a half yep. inches. Yep. So we'll just go over one, two, three and a half. Perfect. And then um, that's for some of them. So these will become the little squares throughout the quilt. Nice. And then you'll cut, you know, the different lengths throughout um, that you need. And again, the, the pattern will tell you what you need yeah, per exactly. color. Yeah, exactly, it's all, all broke down. Yep. So there will be some of these strips and everything. Um, some of them, as you can see, they're extra long strips and those um, you will combine. Okay. Um, so when, actually when you are cutting those, um, you'll end up with your strips that look like this, like what we just made. Yes. Um, and you'll have the extras on the end. And these, you'll wanna keep just the same length. Okay. So you'll be really careful not to trim off too much when you're cutting the edges. So we'll go ahead and just trim this. Are you looking for like 22, 23, something? 21 inches. 21, yep. mm -hmm. okay. <clears throat> so <laughs> I have to count them always. Yeah. And you're, you'll get just right along the edge and cut. So then from there, you'll combine this one and you'll do the exact same thing on okay. this side and then combine those. And then there's another extra little strip. And this one is for the top. That long piece mm -hmm. that runs across the top of the quilt. Yep, and also on the bottom. Okay. So, and that combines to make that length. Okay, perfect, I love that. Yeah. So then should, do you wanna talk about the layout? Do you need me to press anything? Yes, if you wanna go ahead, um, okay. you can press these. All right, I will do that. I'm pressing to the dark side. Is that yes. the right thing? Yes, okay. the dark side. Yes, thanks Perfect. for mentioning that. Of course. Um, in the pattern on the very back page where the layout guide is, um, there are arrows indicating which way you can press things for a flatter okay. quilt that's, that's to nest so your seams and everything. Yeah. So, but for these strips, yes, just press toward the dark side. Okay. And then from here, um, you're going to add some strips to the bottom. So these are three and a half by six and a half inch strips. Okay. And you'll just lay them out so you go through all of your colors, all of them that are like this and all of them that are the size as well. Okay. And you need to make sure that the color is on the left side. Okay. And then this is on the bottom. Okay. So then you'll go through and just sew those together. All right. You wanna do that? You bet. Happy to. <laughs> all right, if I can get it to line up, there we go. At least to get started. And chain piecing is your friend on oh. this one. You can I just believe zip it through everything. Well, that's one of the nice things about you know strip quilts. They come together so quick because you are sewing those long runs. Yes. And if you can just put one in under the presser foot after the other, it makes it quick. It does. There's that one. Give you that one if you want. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Should I press those two? Yes. All right. 
that's perfect. And then you'll end up with, you know, some of every single color, which then you will go through and lay out. And the nice thing about um, doing it this way is I wanted to make sure where it was nice and clean and sharp that all of this, all of the squares lined up. Yeah. So the reason why I made it this way is so that when you are sewing it, you know, together, you're all of them line up because you're lining up your seams. Yeah, you can match those. Yeah, mm -hmm. that makes sense. So, um, yep, from there, you just go through and just follow the the layout guide. And okay. So should we lay out a few together? blocks yep, and just see that. how some of it comes together up yeah. here? Yeah. All right, let's do that. I think it'll be fun for people to see. Yes. So this one. goes across that yep. leg. And I like to, when I go through and make them all mm -hmm. this way, um, I like to kind of arrange them out, you know, by their numbers. And then when you're going through to put them together, mm -hmm. then you know, you know, I need number one and then the long piece of number two that you oh, went through and I pressed see. Okay. and made. And that's your first row. Mm -hmm. That makes a ton of sense. Yep. And then on this one, um, since we just made the long strip and there's not this extra piece of white on mm -hmm. there, you'll have extra um, sashing pieces. That are cut. That you will, yes. Okay. You'll just add one there and then it just seamlessly all goes together. I love that. It's so quick and easy. So, and um, I just love how a strip quilt comes together so fast and you get this really amazing impact. I love this line. I think it's, it suits your beautiful design just perfectly. So thank you, thank you so much for sharing yeah, it. And do you want to talk a little bit about the baby size as well? Yes. Um, so this one um, I made in a two color quilt, which the pattern also comes with instructions on how to do that. And okay, the great. Fabric requirements for that. So, and I just think it makes a fun you know, statement from that. It's so cute. And this pattern actually was inspired by a chair. Really? Um, yes. So I <laughs> have a background in interior design. Okay. And we had to take a history of interior furnishings and architecture class. Okay. Like multiple of those. <laughs> so I fell in love with, you know, different styles of chairs and all that stuff, which sounds kind of funny. No, not but... to me. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's something I love. And so this one, um, the reason why it's called a Macintosh quilt is someone named Charles Rene Macintosh designed these amazing chairs and I've always loved them and wanted to do something, yeah. you know, kind of off of that. So this one in the two color quilt um, kind of shows more of that. That's so chair, cool. So. Now I'm going to have to go research him. I'm yes. dying to see his work. <laughs> That's really, really cool. Well, yeah. Allie, thank you so much for being here. Before we go, yeah. I would love to hear a little bit more about your story and how you okay. got into quilting. So do you want to share that with us? Sure. So growing up, um, my mom is a big quilter. She loves sewing and she, you know, would make clothes for us. And, and she has some long arm machines. She's gone, you know, full out with quilting and she's amazing at it. So I've grown up doing that um, and just loving, you know, making things with my hands. Um, and... A while ago, when I started staying home with my kids, mm -hmm. um, she and I, we went to a wholesale fabric sale. Okay. And that can be dangerous. It was dangerous. <laughs> I can imagine. Ask my husband. I can imagine. <laughs> so we um, ended up starting a quilt shop, an oh online quilt goodness. shop after that. So That's we great. sell fabric online. And then from there, you know, buying other people's patterns and stuff, yeah. I really wanted to make my own and and enjoy, you know, that part of it. So. I love it. I love that so much. And I got to meet Allie actually at Garden of Quilts last mm -hmm. year, and she had a cute little booth set up with all of her beautiful designs. And it was like, I want to make them all. They're so <laughs> great. So I just really appreciate you being here and being willing yeah. to share your beautiful designs with all of us. So well, thank, thank you, you so much. And I think we have yeah. some more things up our sleeve in the future, I hope. Um, so yeah, we will see you next time. But before we sign off, make, sh make sure you tell everyone where they can find you online. Yes. So I'm um, on Instagram at Taryn Studios and you can find also on our website at TarynStudios.com. Perfect. So, thank yeah. you, Allie. We'll thank see you, you guys next time. Hey everyone, it's Misty. Thanks for watching at home. If you aren't already a part of our Missouri Star family, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell if you want a notification every time we release a new video. I'll see you next Monday on the newest episode of At Home.